a large truck collides head on with a small car so there is there is a huge collision here and uh, during the collision we need to figure out how are the forces acting so go through the options take your time work this one out and then we'll try and solve this together okay hopefully we gave this a shot so when two things collide let's try to analyze what could happen so we know from newton's third law newton's third law every action every action has an equal and opposite reaction so every action has an equal and opposite reaction so if the truck is colliding with a small car there will be some force exerted by the truck on the car right and there must be if we if we think of this as an action there must be a reaction to this so the reaction force really will be in the opposite direction that will be the force exerted by the car on the truck that is that is the reaction force so the force exerted by both of these vehicles on each other would be the same but it's not very intuitive right if if something like a bus and a car collide you can see the car undergoes more damage so when we say that the forces exerted are the same how does that really connect with our experience well in that case think about the size of the truck in this case it's a large truck and let's say the force is something like i don't know what the force would be has a let's say 500 newtons and this force will have some effect on the car the same force will also have some effect on the truck but thinking about the size of the truck it's really huge this force will not lead to as much damage as it might to a car and this we can connect to newton's second law so newton's second law says that force is really proportional to mass times acceleration so if there is some force acting on a large truck and if its mass is really high the acceleration experienced by that truck would be quite small compared to compared to a car whose mass is not as much so the acceleration experienced would be a lot it would be a lot so therefore we see a greater damage to the car for the same amount of force now if you look at the options the first one says truck exerts a greater amount of force on the car well we might believe that but it's not really that happens in reality the forces exerted are the same equal and opposite uh, so a is wrong b is also wrong car exerts a greater amount of force on a truck that's wrong c says neither exerts a force on the other the car gets smashed simply because it gets in the way on the truck there is a force acting whenever there are two objects interacting there will be a force the truck exerts a force on the car but the car does not exert a force on the truck that is again false option e says truck exerts the same amount of force on the car as a car exerts on the truck so for this one it's option e